hey beautiful people welcome back again to clara's corner if you're looking for a way to make high quality dishwashing liquid soap like the one you're seeing on the screen right now you are in the right place in today's video i'll be showing you how to make commercial standard dishwashing liquid soap that you can use or sell if you're interested in this kind of video please keep watching welcome back guys so the first thing you need to do when you're making your soap is to do your measurement you get the measurement of all the ingredients you are going to be using so first thing i'm doing here is to measure out the first ingredient which is caustic soda i'm going to be measuring out 30 grams of caustic soda right here so this is 30 grams of caustic soda. I'm going to be measuring it out and put aside. So after measuring out the caustic soda, I'm going to get one liter of water. Pour into this cup and pour in the caustic soda into this one liter of water. After pouring, I'm going to mix it in into the water. Mix it in very well by stirring it and keep aside and leave it to stay to dissolve completely on its own so for those of you that will be asking me where they can get these ingredients these ingredients can be gotten from a chemical shop look for a chemical shop in any city you stay ask of a chemical shop you'll be able to get all these ingredients that you will use to make this soup so yeah the next thing to do is to get another bowl for the next ingredients we will be dissolving in this bowl i'm going to be pouring three liters of water into this bowl after pouring the three liters of water i'm going to be getting the next ingredient which is sls rice sls is sodium laurel sulfate is a surfactant and one of the foaming agents for this liquid soup so the amount i have here is 300 grams of this sls 300 grams is what i'm using for this production i'm going to mix it in and also keep aside to completely dissolve on its own so guys the secret in making high quality dish washing liquid soap is getting original chemicals getting your chemicals from the right source number one number two is measuring out your ingredients correctly and number three is stirring in or dissolving your chemicals properly these three things are the major criteria of making high quality liquid soap getting the right chemicals getting the right measurement and dissolving your chemicals properly so these three criteria are what will make your quality liquid soap so here keeping the sls aside for it to dissolve on its own completely so the next thing is to get the next ingredients so in this bowl i'll be pouring in the next ingredient which is sulfonic acid here is sulfonic acid sulfonic acid is a surfactant also and a foaming agent for this liquid soup so here is 250 grams of sulfonic acid into this bowl i'm going to be pouring it and add the next ingredient into it which is texapon texapon is also a surfactant and a foaming agent I'll be pairing these two together and mix two of them to dissolve completely. And the quantity of texapon here is 500 grams of texapon. This is what I have into this bowl. 250 grams of sulfonic acid and 500 grams of texapon. Take note guys and also pay close attention to see how i mix these two ingredients very well 
Pairing these two together will take you for about five minutes. It's going to be taking you for like five minutes to be able to pair two of them very well by mixing properly. So guys, continue watching to see how I pair the two of them. And if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching on any of the products posted on this channel, whatever products you see in this channel and you want to learn how to make it, how to go into business, making it and all of that, don't hesitate to send me your message in the comment section. I will definitely get back to you and we will keep kick up from there. Thank you. Okay guys, after pairing the two together, the next thing to do is to get our dissolved caustic soda that was dissolved first. The first ingredient we dissolve that has been dissolved completely for like 10 minutes. So you get it and add into these two mixture gradually. You're going to be adding it gradually until you finish pouring the one liter of caustic soda and the one liter of lye solution. Caustic soda mixed into water is known as lye solution. So the lye solution is being mixed into the texapon and sulfonic acid mixture to mix in well because the production has officially started. Yeah, after mixing the texapon and the sulfonic acid you now get the dissolved lye solution and adding to it mixing very well you can see after adding it everything has completely dissolved in and everything has become like a pop solution that's how your mixture should be anytime you pair these three together like i said before the quality of your liquid soap depends on how you mix in the ingredients very well anyone you are adding together you have to properly mix them in well to blend together so if you mix your your ingredients properly you're going to get the quality of the soap you will like but in a situation where you don't mix well, just quickly do any random mixing. This soap is not going to come out well and you will not love the outcome. So take your time mixing your ingredients well to get a very good outcome. So here is the dissolved SLS. We are going to be adding it into the soap. So we'll be pouring the SLS water into the soap gradually. So we'll pour, mix, pour, mix, and we'll pour all of them. Mix, 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 mix until everything is properly mixed together properly. So guys, after mixing, we are going to be going into the next process of this production. Guys, if you've watched up to this point and you've not subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bell for other beneficial videos. Thank you. So in this bowl, we'll be dissolving our next ingredient, which is sodium sulfate. Here is sodium sulfate. We'll be dissolving it with one liter of water. Here is one liter of water. I'm going to be pouring 400 grams of sodium sulfate. I'll be mixing it into this water to dissolve it completely. After dissolving it, we are going to be adding it into the soap mixture to continue in the process of this soap. So the sodium sulfate here is going to be acting as the thickening agent of this production. There are a series of thickening agents used in making liquid soap, but sodium sulfate is what we'll be using to make 
the thickening agent in this production so i'll be adding it into it to mix it in and immediately it's being added there is a reaction that will take place the whole mixture will start thickening up you will see how thickened it will look and everything will start coming in together so guys continue watching to see how this whole process is going to come out so lovely guys this is the stage you have to act very strategically adding the thickening agent inside your soap is very very crucial is a crucial part in soap making because the thickening agent is what will determine the consistency of your liquid soap so when you are adding your your thickening agent you add it bit by bit like now if you add 400 grams and it's not assuming you add 100 grams and your soap is still watery what you will do is to measure out some quantity of the sodium sulfate and dissolve into water with little water and also add into the soap to make sure you get the consistency that you want but you have to also be careful because if you add too much of the sodium sulfate your soap is going to turn out too watery so you have to act strategically at this point you know the right quantity to add into your soap to be able to give you the consistency that you want so you can see this consistency here is very okay but for me it's still thick i'm going to be adding more water into this soap so i'll be adding extra one liter of water into this mixture because i feel the soap is thick for me so i added one liter of water into it and you can see as i'm mixing it's still thick so yeah and don't forget so far we have the, the quantity of water we've used so far is seven liters of water we use one liter to dissolve caustic soda use three liters to dissolve sls which is four liters together then we use one liter to dissolve sodium sulfate which is five liters we use two liters again added two liters into this mixture here so making it a total of seven liters of water so i finished mixing and the next process is to take smaller portion and add in the remaining ingredients and the reason for using smaller portion to add the next ingredients is because they have the tendency of changing the consistency of the liquid soap so here is glycerin glycerin is a humectant we are going to be using 50 ml of glycerin into this mixture glycerin is to help this soap to suit the skin so that it, it won't be too harsh on the skin so that's the work of glycerin and glycerin has the tendency of reducing the consistency of the liquid soap that's why we are taking smaller portion to add it so that by the time you add it into the bigger soap the cons the strength of the glycerin must have calmed down so the next thing i just added is the color i'm adding yellow color into this mixture i, I have stirred it in and to, to dissolve it into the soap very well so the next thing is citric acid this citric acid is going to be acting as a preservative and also a ph adjuster to be able to adjust the ph of this soap so that it will be able to be suitable on the hands while using it to clean or to wash so yeah after mixing the citric acid the next thing to mix in into this production is the fragrance the fragrance is the last thing we are going to be adding into this mixture i will be using 20 ml of uh, fragrance this is 20 ml of tangerine 
fragrance i'm using tangerine fragrance because i love it so much so we're going to be pouring 20 ml into this mixture to make this soap smell so nice and lovely mind you the reason for like i said before the reason for adding all of this into the smaller portion is because they all have the tendency of reducing the consistency of the soup and finally we just added everything into the bigger bowl of the soup so we are going to add in and mix everything in to properly incorporate into the soup after mixing everything in that's the end of this production so guys please give me a huge thumbs up if you find this video helpful subscribe to this channel turn on your notification bell for other diys of cleaning products so here we're going to be covering up this soap and leave it for 24 hours so guys stay tuned for the outcome of this soap guys see the beautiful outcome of our soap the soap came out so clear and so beautiful it is so transparent like the store-bought dishwashing liquid soup like your morning fresh like your good mama like any brand in the market out there this soup came out so well see how transparent it is lucid so clear the soap came out so well so you can see we did a very nice job but the consistency is so accurate the consistency is the same with the morning fresh consistency so it came out so well so lovely and beautiful so yeah guys the next thing to do is to package this soap into a container this soap is actually made for a client of mine so i'm going to be packaging it to send right away to my beautiful customer and the most beautiful thing here is that this soup lathers so well it foams very very well so the quality is top notch this recipe is what anybody that wants to go into the business of liquid soap making can use and sell to supermarkets and stores the most important thing is for you to get your beautiful containers and stickers and package beautifully and sell to any market and individuals can buy this stores can buy it just package gather them into a carton and supply to any supermarket and store and make a living out of this so guys if you find this video helpful give me a huge thumbs up subscribe to this channel don't also forget to turn on your notification bell to get other beneficial videos anytime i make a new video thank you so much guys for watching and see you in my next video bye guys and do have a lovely lovely day